Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. Today we're going to be working on the quest for Wolfenstein New Order, and this one is available on the cloud, so you'll be happy to hear that. This is worth 75 rewards points, it expires on October 3rd, and we need to get one kill within the game. So I've actually got this downloaded on my Series S, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch it from there, and we'll press the menu button to get started, and then press A to get past the autosave message. And this will probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes to finish, depending on how quickly you can get through everything. We're going to choose New, and then I went up to the top difficulty, which is the very easy difficulty. So feel free to play however you like there, but I went with that one because I always go with the easiest difficulty. Let's press X a couple of times to get through this first cutscene. And then you'll get introduced to the pilot. And the plane that we're flying in is very quickly in trouble. We get crashed into and one of our engines starts leaking fuel and there's a fire back there in the back of the plane. So we've got to go fix that. So let's turn around and take a left as soon as we go through this doorway and then another left and there's a toolbox on the wall here. Press X to open that and press X to collect both of the tools that are inside there that are highlighted. We'll turn around, head back here towards the fire, press B to crouch, and then press X to close up the leaking fuel line here using the tools that you just got. And then we'll turn around and we'll continue back the way we came from, press B to uncrouch, and then we're gonna go through this other door back here that is open now that leads to the cargo hold and we need to drop some cargo in order to lighten the load and enable the pilot to lift the plane up higher and get some altitude. So back here, each one of these little straps will be highlighted with a red diamond. You're gonna hit your right trigger to use your knife and to cut the straps. So I believe there are four straps on the right side as you come in and three straps on the left side. So just cut each one of those and you'll see the cargo start to fly out the back of the airplane. So that's good, that's what we needed to do. And then we can turn around and head back up the stairs. There's an explosion that's going to happen at the top of the stairs here. And this is just automatic. It's just part of the gameplay, so you can't avoid that or anything. And we'll continue heading back towards the pilot at this point. And then we're going to need to do some shooting. And you would think that at this point, once we start taking down some of the enemy planes, we would actually complete the quest. It didn't seem to complete here for me, so we'll need to proceed just a little bit further into the game. But once you're here, you can start taking some shots at the enemy planes. They have little red trails coming off of them, and they kind of look like stealth bombers if you've ever seen those classic planes. So look for those. Don't shoot the planes that are kind of flying in your squad with you. They look very similar to the, the plane that you're flying in. You want to shoot the ones that have the red trails on the back of them. So there are a lot of scripted events that are happening right here and lots of just, you know, planes that are moving kind of on rails, but you can definitely take out some of the enemy planes while you're waiting for this section to complete. And you can see we got an achievement just there for taking out some of the enemy planes. So you can use that for your achieve more, earn more for today if you want to. So that's a little bonus. So we'll just keep taking out some of the enemy planes as we move through here, and we will need to move into the next section where we can actually get some kills that will count for the quest. So we're almost done with the shooting section, and in just a minute we're going to need to transition to another plane. The pilot will start communicating with one of the other neighboring planes that has a lot more troops on it, and he finds out that the the pilot is basically has been taken out in that plane, so that plane needs a pilot, so we end up sort of transferring and jumping over to that other larger plane that needs a pilot. So we'll have to run and jump and kind of grab, but I'll show you that in just a minute after this little cutscene finishes. Unfortunately, we can't skip that one. You can press X to grab the health pack that he drops for you. It's always a good idea to pick up the health packs in this when we can find them. So here we're starting to fly alongside that other plane that is having major difficulties. It's over to our left here, and it'll kind of transition over to our right in just a second. Right, 
and you'll start to see all of the, you know, fuel leaking and just all kinds of issues going on with this plane here. So it's it's a wonder it actually survives this. But like I said, we'll we'll transition over to this other larger plane in just a minute. So they start to go down, but our pilot will talk to the the troop that is currently piloting the plane in the pilot's absence and try to give them some basic instruction on what to do here to save all of their lives. Yeah, he sounds very inexperienced. He doesn't even realize that he like needs to pull back on the wheel to <laughs> gain some elevation with the plane. I guess he's never seen anyone fly a plane before. Yeah, Private Wyatt. So, so yeah, I guess took out both the pilot and the co-pilot. It's amazing. The plane's still flying. All right, so we're coming up alongside it now, and you can see our pilot is getting up above the wing, and he tells him to get the cockpit door open. So we'll press X to open that up. And they've got their door open on the other side. So now's when our pilot jumps over. And that's what we're going to have to do in a second. We're going to have to sprint forward by moving forward and clicking the left thumbstick to sprint, and then we're going to press A to jump across. So there's the instruction right there on screen, so that's what we're going to do. Run forward, click the left stick, press A, and then I was also mashing the X button there just as the action to grab onto his hand when we got close to the door, so I don't think that's really necessary, but that's what I was doing anyway. All right, so we've made it on board the second plane. And the pilot heads up to the front. You actually don't have to talk to this guy right here. There are some characters here you can interact with, but just spin around and head up to the front of the plane. And we're gonna do just a couple more things to help the pilot out here before we ultimately crash. So this guy's kind of freaked out here on the ground and he tells us to get him, get him to stand up basically. And not the guy that's dead on the floor, but the guy that's that's bent over right there. So you'll just press X to kind of slap him about and bring him back to his wits, I guess you might say. And that is pretty much all we've got to do in just this section here until we get to the ground. So we'll come in for kind of a crash landing here. And then we'll be on foot and we'll have to do just a little bit of swimming. But we're probably about two-thirds of the way through this now. All right, so there's another cutscene here, and you can press X to skip that if you like to save a little bit of time. 16, and then you'll see these kind of robotic dog things that are chasing after you. And this is just a cutscene right here. But once we gain control of our character, we can look down to the left and press X to grab the yellow phone. You can press X to skip that cutscene, and then we'll have our knife. Move backwards towards this box here and click your right thumbstick to jab at the box. And then you can press X to collect the health that's inside of that as well. We'll move back towards this door and here's another automated thing that happens here. A dog jumps at us and this time we have to run and slide. So we're going to run forward, click the left thumbstick and press B to slide underneath there. And then you can jump into the water down here and we'll follow the fairly obvious routes to get out of the plane. We'll be swimming through some kelp, and you'll see a lot of bodies here. You can click your left thumbstick to sprint, sort of swim sprint just a little bit here. It doesn't seem to stay constant, but you can sprint a little bit with your swimming in this section. And after that huge robot foot passes, then you can continue swimming on towards the light back here and the little waypoint icon that's back here. Take a left and we're going to swim up to the surface and up to a ladder that is right here. And this is actually going to take us into the gunner seat for a different plane that's nearby. And then we'll need to shoot two of the robot dogs that are out there. You should see two of them. You just hit your right trigger again to shoot again. And once those are defeated, you can press X to exit the gunner seat and just walk right out of the front of it. 
and then we'll walk over to the pilot that's over here and talk to him again. You can press X to skip the cutscene. And at this point, I like to kind of sprint forward and press B to crouch down into this trench that's right here. There's an automated machine gun that will kill you over to the right side. So make sure you're crouched when you're down in here and you should be able to avoid it. We're gonna fall down here through this hole and then grab this body armor, look behind you and there are a couple of enemies here. So you'll want to take out both of these guys. Just hit your right trigger to shoot at them. Left trigger to aim. And the quest still didn't complete for me right there, so I proceeded on a little bit. So go through this doorway that's open behind you. And I looked through this hole so I could see if I could see any more enemies outside, but I didn't see any enemies to work on. So proceed back here. Press X a few times to grab some hand grenades. Right bumper and then select the hand grenade and then throw one over by the automated machine gun that's over there. And then you can collect the items that are in this room. I collected one more replacement hand grenade, and then I went up here and jumped down through the hole that was made by the explosion. And at this point, you should basically have the quest unlock for you. I'm not sure if it was actually the kills on the guys that counted or just the destruction of the automated machine gun turret but in either case the quest did seem to unlock here and you can go ahead and turn that in and grab the 75 rewards points for getting the one kill within Wolfenstein New Order. So we've got guides out already here on the Rewards Hunter channel for Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure, for Burnout Paradise Remastered, and for all of the other weekly and monthly quests. We'll have a guide coming out for Middle Earth Shadow of War in just a little while so stay tuned for that one and I will look forward to seeing you all in that guide. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.